Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure a Hadoop cluster on a single machine. Here I will show you a fully distributed two node cluster which I will do it uh, through a virtual machine installed on the same PC. So I uh, will run two uh, Hadoop, uh, uh, pardon me, like I uh, will run two instances of um, Ubuntu in a virtual machine to configure this cluster so let's first download the uh, tools that is uh, that are required to configure the cluster uh, so go to a browser and type like uh, virtual machine like vm player player vm player so so from this website file hippo or anything anywhere you want to go you can download the vm player see from here you can download this player so go and download this player and another thing you need is the iso of ubuntu which you can uh, go like you just search ubuntu will go to the ubuntu website from where you can download see this get ubuntu will take you to the download of ubuntu here from here you can download uh, a desktop version of ubuntu like this so here you can select which version you need whether you download 32 it's uh, depending uh, depending upon your uh, machine type you can download so if you click on download it will start download so two things that you need you should uh, download and keep uh, aside so i have already downloaded those two things and i have installed you know, the vm player so now i'll show you how to um, install uh, start installing uh, this ubuntu in uh, vm player yeah uh, now i'll show you uh, how to install Ubuntu in the uh, VM player so go to start and uh, see the VM player it's listed here or else you can go to all programs uh, and uh, it will be there somewhere and, uh, let's just wait or you can type VM VM player you can type and you can start the VM player so it's starting yeah uh, so actually I already have uh, two uh, three instances of Hadoop uh, sorry uh, Ubuntu installed in the in my VM player so I'll first show you I'll delete this uh, VM from here and show you how to install it okay so see in this screen you can see right so you just uh, select this option create new VM virtual machine from there here see you can uh, the uh, the ubuntu which you have downloaded just select the file see i have stored it into my software directory so uh, this is the ubuntu file which i have to see see ubuntu see any any any, any one of this i can take so i'm taking this one first so okay okay then uh, see if you have a cd of ubuntu that also you can install through this one here you can specify this uh, like suppose you have mounted the iosa already through some mounting uh, software then you can choose this option or else you can directly specify the iso file this is better then uh, what you can do click next give your name or uh, username for the machine give your password here okay click next see here uh, th this is the path or location where your one to vm image file will be stored so choose accordingly wherever you want to know I'll, I'll use the default one and uh, this is the virtual machine name suppose i'll use this uh, clu clu str cluster m that is machine one okay click next 
then see this this will give you the option to split the image in different like uh, more than one chunks choose whatever like you know, whatever you want this will uh, store it as a single file see explanation about this is already given here so better you read it this is the file which you want so uh, it's 20 GB is uh, like uh, enough so I'll keep it at 20 GB and see uh, here from here uh, customize hardware what you can do you can customize the uh, memory or uh, processor you want to allocate suppose I'm allocating 2 GB to this and uh, 2 processor to this okay like that you can what you can do uh, so one uh, one important thing is that this uh, NAT so but uh, whenever you install one to uh, let this be like this only NAT so we can communicate uh, between these two virtual machine using this uh, IP assigned to this so okay uh, and click close click finish so now see uh, one to installation is starting so it's installing the one two um, so I won't uh, show you uh, all these steps so how it's going to install and all just uh, follow the screen um, instructions you will install and you will be ready with the one two okay see let my one two be installed till it's installed mm -hmm. uh, I'll show you something else or better uh, let it install first okay so it will take some time so I'll take a break and let it install okay after this installation completes I'll show you the IP configuration and um, other Hadoop configuration which you need to do so let it be installed uh, so this is installing it will take some time wait for some time okay yeah uh, friend so here um, I have installed two uh, instances of Ubuntu on my virtual machine first setting you need to do is to like select the uh, instance edit the virtual machine setting then a uh, network adapter and choose this one which is NAT used to share the localhost IP address this setting you need to do for uh, each virtual machine for this one also so I have already done that see uh, network adapter so this same settings click ok and first boot the uh, first virtual machine as such <coughs> so it's booting my first virtual machine meanwhile what you can do is that start another virtual machine instance uh, virtual player instance so so that we can have the po both the uh, Ubuntu running parallelly and or we will do play side by side I am side by side I am running both the virtual machines so the same thing you can also do see it's two machine running it's a bit uh, slow so wait for some time <coughs> 